Hello everybody, my name is Ed Trevers. I'm an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Nova Scotia in Prince Edward Island. I get to serve in the beautiful town of Shelburne, Nova Scotia at the amazing, wonderful parish of Christ Church Shelburne that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. I give thanks for you every day. I thank God for the time that you spend with me, for the prayers that you offer on my behalf, and I thank God especially for all that you're sharing with me and teaching me in the comments. I've received a lot of emails, and I received a few comments that speak to the, the issue that I'm going to talk about tonight. And in it, people express their love for their family and friends. They express a desire for their family and friends to, uh, to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And they express a frustration that when those conversations come up, their loved ones will at best ignore them, at worst degrade them, diminish their beliefs, attack their faith system, and, and they'll do it in a way that they can't defend. And so they ask me, they, what can I do? How do I, how do I lead them to Christ? How do I make the introduction to God? How, do, how, do I, how, how can I help them get saved? I feel you. All right, I, I do. I, I genuinely, I, can ex, I, I, I have experienced what it is you're telling me. Uh, I've got a couple of friends that, yeah, we start talking about, we start talking about faith within about five minutes. I want to throttle them. Right? Because it doesn't feel like there's any getting through to them. They have so many barriers and so many defenses up against this God idea. They, they have so much anger and, 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 and what feels like hatred towards, towards Scripture, towards Jesus, towards the church. There's no talking because there's no opportunity to converse. There's no opportunity to share views and values it's just two people, in the end, going at it. And nothing ever gets settled. Nobody's mind ever gets changed. If anything, I would walk away more frustrated and they would walk away thinking that I'm stupider than they thought I was. So here's my advice. Focus on your own journey. Focus on your own spiritual path. Focus on your own discipleship. Focus on your own morality, your own values. Your friends and family may never come to know Christ as you know Christ. All right? Every time you have a conversation, from here until the end of time, you may find yourself butting heads. You may find yourself arguing. You may find yourself frustrated beyond belief. I mean, there's a piece of scripture I'm going to be talking about, from, uh, talking about next week, but it comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. I did not come to bring you peace, but the sword. That's not Jesus hoping for you to, to have conflict. He's telling you. That your faith is going to be a difficult thing for many people to embrace. It's going to be a difficult thing for many people to accept. And it, it's going to cause conflict. But that doesn't mean it's a conflict you need to win. As we would normally think about conflict. Be the example of Jesus Christ in the world that you would like to see. Be the example of Jesus Christ in the world that you know the world is in desperate need of. Evangelism, the art of, of sharing the good news. For the last 75 to 100 years, that has, it is now a dirty word in the world. When you talk about evangelism, people tune out. They don't want to hear it. All right? The evangelicals and the fundamentalists They've taken that word and they've hijacked it and they've turned it into something dirty. The world has enough pushy salesmen for Jesus Christ. 
We do not have enough disciples. The world has enough people out there trying to convince others to become followers, to put butts in the pews. The world needs more disciples. If you genuinely care about your loved ones, let it go. Stop trying to win them over and instead focus on being Jesus Christ in their life. Now, I'm not talking about wearing the robes. I'm not talking about the sandals. I'm not talking about the long hair or letting your beard grow out. I'm talking about being a living, breathing example, representative, ambassador of Jesus Christ for the entire world, not just your family and friends, for the entire world. If you focus on your family and friends, the world will miss out on all that you have to offer. They may never come to know Jesus the way you want them to know Jesus. But if you are acting as Jesus, if you are living as Jesus, if you are doing and speaking and caring and loving as Jesus, then they will know Jesus through you. They will know his love, his compassion, his mercy. They will know his demeanor. They, know, they will know his characteristics. They will know his forgiveness. They will know his healing. They will know his empathy. They will know his true nature through you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and may you know the peace of always being in God's presence. And I pray that your journey of discipleship will shine a bright light into a very dark world. Amen.